Hello my friends and channel subscribers, Greg here from Brisbane, Australia with another uncut, unedited, no bull video. Recently I created a video about uh, dryer, heat pump dryer, a SATA. Uh, if you're interested in that, please check my channel. And there was huge response um, to the video. I didn't know that um, it would be so popular. And a couple of people reached me privately and say, hey, it looks like the washing machine that under the dryer, because I stuck them up, is much bigger. What kind of washing machine is that? And I thought, wow, that would be really interesting to create a review about my Samsung 16 killers washing machine. I've got a number of things to say about it and um, the one that jumps out is the washing machine is already four years old. There are a couple uh, newer models after that one, but I think they're all based on the same principle. And there's a couple of points to make, to make clear for those who wishes have a big washing machine. Let's start with the negative part of the bigger washing machine. First big, big negative bit is for delivery guys. You may not believe, but that washing machine weighs close to 120 kilos. I had two big guys with an industrial trolley struggle to get it in. That washing machine is heavy. If you are just about to move house and you would like to buy 16 kilos front loader, think twice before you do so uh, it's easier for delivery drivers to deliver to new place but it's way harder to move properties if you decide to buy and just move and if you are planning for a new house the second big problem is many people don't realize all dryers and washing machines are standard size until you get to the point of 12 kilos and above washing machine. Some of them still can cram it into standard size, but this one is not standard size. And if you have constricted space where you put it in, some people got bench on top of it. Some people got side kind of um, uh, cabinet. If it's not an open space like what I've got here, think twice and measure up before you buy one it won't fit so that's about measurements and from a negative side that's all let's spell good news uh, and there's plenty so first problem that people say oh you buy that big washing machine what you got small washing it's a waste of energy it's a waste of water and resources first of all Let's start with waste of water and resources. That This one is one of not many washing machines that accept hot and cold water inlets. If you've got solar hot water, you literally have your uh, hot water for the washing machine for free. So pay attention when you buy a washing machine, how many inlets you've got. If you've got only cold one, that means your washing machine will heat up the water. It will cost you money. The second one is, it's a modern washing machine. They are smart. When it will fill, when you fill up the washing, washing machine will uh, tumble uh, one side and tumble other side and weigh how much washing you put in and fill up the water and use energy as much washing you put in. It will adjust to your washing load. So don't worry about you got small washing uh, and it won't fit you. However, when you got the big washing, like for example, I do every week all my clothes, my um, kids clothes, and um, then you go a linen and then you got towels. I do literally one wash for all of it. And we can go into debate that we need to separate whites and colors and what temperature wash. It's individual thing. But if you restrict it on time, if you would like to do one wash and finish with washing, that's the washing machine for whole, for whole family. And I don't remember last time when I need to do two washings. 
That's how amazing it is. The next one is um, your detergents and all that's enough space for as much as you need to put in. It's like standard washing machine. There's nothing to discuss. What Samsung washing machines do differently though, uh, the model called Bubble Wash and I think later on there's a Steam Wash as well. I cannot um, say anything about Steam Wash because I never experienced it, but Bubble Wash is phenomenal. It has two external jets, so when it starts washing, it kind of bubbles them and inject oxygen and then spray into clothes. So your washing is coming cleaner because it attacks the, so it tumbles and sprays it with uh, oxidized water as well, which has already detergent. So if you deploy bubble wash function on a washing machine, it actually washes much better. And unintended, really good side effect, I would say, of the washing machine. Uh, when I posted about uh, dryer, there's a lot of questions about stacking and hanging on the wall. With this washing machine that weighs 120 kilos and how robust it is, I just chucked the uh, rubber mat on top and put dryer on top of it. And the washing machine doesn't mind and it looks like I've got miniature dryer on top of giant washing machine. The washing machine is quiet. The washing machine is reliable. The washing machine can be uh, used for stacking the dryer and operates like normal washing machine. Just save you time and possibly money as well. I'm more than happy to answer all the questions uh, because I don't do live videos yet. I don't have enough audience. Uh, please post your questions down below and I'll try to answer them. If you are interested in any other reviews I did on my channel, uh, check my channel, subscribe for future videos, please hit the thumbs up, it will help me to promote uh, those videos, people that I can help uh, with anything, and um, hit the notification bell so you will be notified when new video is released. Um, I think I mentioned everything for now, uh, just before I go, look, another benefit. It's a giant front load here. It's twice size as normal washing, so you can shove all your washing in one hit in and we'll take it. Thank you so much for watching. Greg from Brisbane, Australia.